Elsewhere, Venezuela's opposition says it's collected a million signatures for a recall referendum on President Nicolas Maduro. That's five times what's required. The country has faced days of looting and unrest due to food shortages and blackouts. Security forces were deployed in Venezuela's second largest city, Maracaibo. The country's legislature voted to sack the food minister over the shortages. That's a move that uh, Maduro rejected. While uh, Juan Carlos Lamas is following the story from Caracas. Here in Caracas, tours are closed. Owners are afraid people will take the streets as they have in other cities across the country. Venezuelan authorities say 100 people have been arrested for damaging thousands of businesses. They are protesting against drastic nationwide power cuts and have been raiding shops for food. President Nicolás Maduro condemned these protests, saying his political enemies are trying to sabotage him and his government. The plan was for the power cuts to last only four hours per day, but in some cities like Valencia, La Guaira, Maracaibo, people have been without energy for more than 24 hours. Here in the capital, the government offices are closed every day, but Monday and Tuesday. And the cuts on the power supply have meant that less food is getting into the shops.